Welcome back, you guys. My name is Cable Boy, and today's game we're going to be playing. It's called Spyro 2 Ripto's Raid. And I'm going to go into the next world that I need to go into and. Check your guidebook by pressing the start button. Yes, I know to do that. Not that difficult to do. Okay, so. Flutter a little bit to get to this side. Don't want to. Okay, so. Where's the world that I'm trying to go to? The level that I'm trying to get to, not over here. I know, I know the level I'm trying to get. Oh, there it is. This is the level I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to go to Idle Springs and everything. Yeah, of course, so I have to take out the, um, idols, I guess, and do stuff there. Makes sense, makes sense I have to do that, but... Let's check around to make sure that whatever the- Oh! Um, I don't know where I just went to, but, um, okay. Oh, is this the block puzzle where basically you have to do it in a certain way, or else you're not gonna be able to do it and everything, like... Like, you have to light them up in a certain way, or else if you don't do it in that certain way, you're not going to be doing this. Makes sense that there is a way of doing this. There is definitely a way of doing this. Wow, Spyro, you did it! I mean, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. So, um, okay, that was not that difficult, you just had to figure out, I just had to figure out basically the, um, the, the way to do it, like, once, once I saw what I needed to do, I did it, of course, but, that was not difficult, that was certainly not difficult, like, I understood what I needed to do immediately as soon as I had certain pieces in a certain way, but, I like the challenge! I like that challenge! I wish they had that in, like, Spiral 3 and everything. Like, I understand that kids would probably think it's really hard and everything, but that was really fun! That was actually really fun! And I hope that there is another puzzle like that, but I'm not really sure. I'm not gonna be really sure until I actually go and... Okay, so... Okay, so for here, I'm gonna have to blow the fish, I guess. Like, like I have to flame the fish. But not the blue one, I guess, and I have to do all the red, I guess. I'm not really sure if this is the puzzle. Yeah, this is the tiki thing. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. So, yeah, feed him, um, red fish, I guess. Okay, so not those types of fish. So I have to do it with... Is it that fish? Okay, what what type of fish? Is it the blue one? Okay, so it's the blue ones. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Okay, so off to the stones I go, after I go and rescue this, um, person over here. You just get flamed so then I can, yeah. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be using the orbs for, but basically I will be coming back here, I guess. So, you... Okay, so for you, I'm gonna have to charge. Charging is something that I need to do. I'm not talking to you guys just because I really don't want to. Okay, so I have to be very careful on, like, what I do because of you just flame. Okay, don't want to, like, like, get hit because I don't want to, like, like, accidentally lose, like, any lives. Oh, wait. Okay, so I can't do that. The thing that I thought I could do, like, swim in air. 
I know in, in the main area you can go in and swim in air, and I probably will do that just to get a orb and everything. But okay, what are you gonna say if anything? Those metal shields are making enemies in. Ah, uh, of course you have already told me in the. Uh, you've already told me all of this, and if you didn't, I've already figured it out. It's not like I couldn't figure it out. First of all, claim you. Can I claim you? Thank you. Just wanna be able to collect the treasure, save the t save the people around here, and then I should be good to go. I just want to be able to do this without any trouble. Don't want the trouble, don't need the trouble, but I will want to go and do that. Okay, so grab you and you, and then Okay. I'd like to go over to here because the builder did go and open this. To aim the camera left or right, press the L2 or... Yes, I know how to move the camera. I just don't do that because this is... Spyro on PS1. Any Spyro game on PS1, I do not move the camera for just because I don't really like to use the camera buttons unless I sort of have to. And then if I do, it's usually to orientate it back to behind Spyro. And there are there's the last puzzle, I guess. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Okay, so this one. Then this one. If you jump on these stones in the... Oh, of course. Oh, I see. So, star, star. Okay, so that's a hexagon. So that's a hexagon. Diamond, is there a diamond around here? Diamond, no, but there is. Oh wait, try this. No. If you jump, I am, I am learning what the puzzle is. So I do that first, then this. Okay, so is there another one of those? Let's try. Oh, orange, orange, then moon, moon. And then over to here to do that. Okay, makes sense. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. All I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. Thanks for teleporting me back here, but I would have liked it if I could have gone back to here myself that would have been cooler but thank you for the orb thank you for the orb it was a tough one to do but thank you just need to be able to do what i need to do without going and talking to these guys because i really don't want to oh there's one gem right there you're gonna zap me thank you and i should be on my way okay let's yeah, do not want to run. Uh, can I? Let me flame you for the extra bug life. Thank you. And then you got me, Zoe. And then over here, I flame you. Am I able to do what I think I'm able to do here? I'm gonna give it a good try. Okay, so I can't do that. Or can, can I? I'm not gonna try anymore just because I know I've opened the passageway so I don't really need to give it a good try. But I think I'm gonna be able to at some point be able to do it. But whatever. Ah! Don't want to talk to anyone quite yet. Just want to finish the level. Okay, so that is, I guess, a, another way of going, I guess. Or this... Yeah, this is another way of going. Collecting all the treasure. Important! 
so I'm glad that I am doing this. Okay, so I need to glide and hover, but I'm not going to be able to do that right there. And you are... What? Oh! That's uh, an extra challenge, I guess. Uh, I'm guessing that's a, that's a speed challenge, I guess. Not really sure what it is, but I'm gonna guess it's like it's some speed challenge or something. But yeah, I will complete the level soon. I just want to make sure that I do everything. So how many orbs are there in this? Like how many orbs are in this area? So it's only 35% done. So okay, so only two, only two in this area. Can I exit, please? Thank you. Okay, really am. Um, I'm trying not to fall. Really am trying not to fall because if I fall, then I would have to climb all the way back up to here. Not something that I want to be doing. So, yeah, it's very, like, tough for me to stay up here just so then... Okay, so that's the rocket to br break open the chest thing. Grab all the gems, and then I just have to make my way back to, um... The area I was just at and then once I do that I should be good to go with trying to make it through the area and get the extra stuff do what I need to do with that and then I should be done with the level once I um, finally talk to the um, final uh, builder because the final builder is basically the person I need to talk to to get the idol and if I don't get the talisman idol I won't be progressing further within the game because I do need the, all the idols to be able to go and fight Ripto or one of Ripto's minions and everything so if I don't go and do this correctly I'm not gonna be able to um, fight Ripto's minions, won't be able to progress and I won't be able to do what I need to do so I need to just be very cautious and do this well. Okay what do I do for this challenge? I know it's like some supercharged thing, and is it? Yep, it's some supercharged thing. I can do it. I can do it. Let's. Okay. I can do this. Okay, so I can't just like jump. I can do this. If I follow the path, I can do this. Okay, so almost. Almost. Really? So if I don't do this fast enough, I'm not going to be able to do this. Do I have to do this all at once? Oh, of course, I have to do this all at once. Okay, got it. Look at that. The hula girl's rain dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Thank you for the orb, and I don't know why that took so long to go and do, but... Okay, I mean, like, the, the cutscene took forever to do, it seemed like, and I don't know why it did take forever to do, but it sort of did didn't like that but as long as I did it and I don't have to do that again that's gonna be good because I don't want to be seeing that cutscene again took a little bit longer than I wanted it to but doing the level easily and I'm glad that I am doing the level as easily and cleanly as I am because the better that I do at these levels the better I am to going forward so there are gems, I guess, up here. Okay, no gems, no nothing. So I'm guessing that these are the final two gems that I need. Really? Where are the rest of the gems? I thought it was at the beginning area, so I'm glad that I did that. So now I can just go to the final um, builder and everything, and then I can go and complete the level and then once after this level I'm gonna go and um, get the orb that I do need 
and everything. I'm gonna use the swimming air glitch and everything to do it just because I just really want that orb and I'm not gonna go and do any of the get get into the like boss arena or anything. I'm just gonna go get that orb because I need it in the home world. But other than that, I will be going and doing that. Wow, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. For the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Thank you. Idol Springs is now complete, and I can now move forward. So they're good all of a sudden? Okay, makes sense, I guess. So now I'm just gonna get that um, orb that I can't get right now just because I need the climbing ability. I do need the climbing ability if I want to be able to get the um, orb, but I do know that there is this over here that I can do to swim in air. Once I swim in air, I should be able to get that orb and I should be good to go. Now that I'm swimming in air, I should be able to go this way, and I should be able to get what I need. I will have to go outside the boundaries, just so then I can go and keep the swimming air, because once I hit a water source, it's gonna take away my swimming air, so I would like to be able to do what I need to do here. Okay, so now open here. Okay, so now I have it permanently if I if I get um, killed or something. So now let's go get this orb. Once I get this orb, I should have everything here. Do I have all the orbs here? Guidebook. Let's check. Summer Forest. Okay, so there is one more. I will be getting it because I don't know how to get it any other way. So there is one more orb here and I will be getting it this way just because I don't know really how to get it. It's through here and everything like like I I will have to like I okay so is that open like, like is the other area open to where okay so yeah this door is now open and now I can just do this I'm glad that it makes an actual noise to make sure that you um know that you've completed the area I'm glad that it does make a noise because it would just be weird if if like you were trying to do all of this and you, you've already completed the level and everything. I'm glad that it actually confirms that that you um, did it. Let me go back into water. And yeah, I've now completed this area so that's, gonna, that's good. Get that. And yeah, now that I have everything that I have and I've done what I needed to do with Summer Forest and everything and I've completed it 100%. I am going to go into the next level, but I'm going to do that next episode. I am liking the intro and outro cutscenes of each level. I also do like that if you've already seen it, but you want to see it again, you can see the cutscene at the beginning, and I like that. I don't know if you can see the ending cutscene, or, or you have to go through the exit to see the exit cutscene, or how that plays out, but... I hope that you're able to do it, because if you go in and you want to see the intro and then then the outro cutscene, but within that one level, I hope that you're able to do it. I know that at the end of the game you can do that, but I hope that before you get to the end of the game you're able to see both the intro and outro cutscenes because they're really cool. They give a little bit more depth to each world, and I hope, and I, and I wish that they kept it for Spyro 3, but for as many characters and as much as they have in Spyro 3, I understand why they don't, but it's a shame that they don't have it in 3, but whatever. I am just going to leave this episode here, and I am just going to go. See ya! If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give a boy subscribe button, and I'll see you all guys in the next video.